Welcome to Lynn Educational Television. I'm Afton Dean, bringing you the first round of the Division II MIAA Volleyball State Tournament. And Classical set to take the floor. There will take on Boston English in this first round game. Classical with an 18-2 regular season record, which was good for a program best. It was also an illustrious season where Coach Frank DeLuca picked up his 100th career win. So a huge season for the girls volleyball team. And they will take the floor in this first round game. Boston English coming in with an 8-5 and five record. They are the number 13 seed. Along the front for Classical, it's Cherish Nooki, Nooko, excuse me. Jean Gupton Morrison and Amber Creighton. Also out there for Classical is Chloe Clement, Kiara Edmonds, Vanessa Oscar, and Pamela Diaz will be serving to start this game. So this is our first broadcast of the year for volleyball. Very excited to be here. Wayne Classical hoping to advance and they would play the winner of a game that was already played today and Melrose was able to pull that one out. So they would play Melrose and if Classical could win this, they would get another home game. Good crowd on hand. You probably hear them in the background. Pamela Diaz set to serve. And we're underway. And a quick point for Classical. And we'll give the ace to Pamela Diaz. And another point for Classical. Great placement there up front. Jean Gupton Morrison and Owoko really working back and forth there. Nice tip. Diaz again and makes quick work. Quick ace, three nothing Classical advantage. And things starting Classical's way early on. And that's going to be out of bounds. Point classical for nothing. Diaz will serve one more time. And this time hits the net. And first point for Boston English. Nayeli Aceveda will be back to serve for Boston English. Creighton tips it, Gupton Morrison. And Creighton attempts to set up Gupton Morrison. Morrison can't get it over the net. And another point for Boston English, 4-2 advantage, classical. And Creighton fumbles it. And three unanswered points for Boston English. Back within a point in the set, 4-3. Acevedo back to serve one more time. And just out of bounds. Good bid by Cherish Nwoko. Just out of bounds. Set tied at four. Creighton, Gupton Morrison, and nice kill for Gupton Morrison right over the net. Give the assist to Amber Creighton, and you'll probably recognize her name. 
from our basketball broadcasts. And great serve for Creighton. Two straight for Classical. 6-4 advantage in the set. Make that three unanswered. So Classical started on a 4-0 run. Boston English tied it at four, and they're in the midst of a 3 nothing run. And make it 4 nothing. 8-4 Classical advantage. <clears throat> if you're just joining us, we're in the first set of the Division II MIAA State Tournament. And some communication issues in the back row there for Boston English. Amber Creighton serves it. And gonna be a point, Cherish Naroko gets up and makes her presence felt here. And that's gonna be out of bounds. 11th point for Classical. A now 11 to four lead. And great serve for Amber Creighton. <clears throat> Classical bring in their second unit here. And great start for Lynn Classical. And Classical actually might not be making any switches. Give a timeout, 60 second timeout to Boston English. They'll try to slow down this Classical pace as they have eight unanswered points. Amber Creighton leading the way here in this first set. And Cherish Nwoko with a couple nice kills. Give the Classical a nice 12-4 advantage. Again, Classical finished the season 18-2. They are the number four seed in Division II. Classical was previously a Division I team. Now they were moved up to Division II this year. There are a couple of undefeated teams in the bracket, including Linfield, Danvers, and O'Brien. And that's going to end up in no man's land. Able to get saved. And nothing doing there. Nayeli Acevedo, nice bid as she tracked that down. Diaz tips it. And Nooko just out of bounds. They set her up nicely. Thirteen five classical. Just Mary Mercado unable to get the serve over. Fourteen five and Brick Warren, who just checked in, will be serving for classical. Brick Warren, of course, the lefty pitcher for the softball team. And she was outstanding last year in her sophomore season. And I'm sure we'll see more of that this season. And point, classical. Brooke will take it again. Brooke Warren again. Back to serve. And 16-5, classical on top. And point, classical, nice placement by Warren. Warren will serve with the left hand. 
And great placement. Eighteen five classical on top. And Warren on fire. Another point for classical. Man, she's making her presence felt right away in this game. And that's going to be out of bounds. Pamela Diaz lets it go. Point classical, 19, 25, excuse me, 25. And served into the net, so classical will give up a point there. 20 to 6 advantage, 14 point cushion in this opening set. Serving for Boston English, that is Celia Avila. Nice dig. Good communication for Boston English. And Sophie Alcindor has it tipped off her hands. And Boston English will pick up a point. Diaz to Nwoko. And out of bounce off the hands of Reese Brinkler. Diaz tracks it down. Good communication by Jean Gupton Morrison. Give her the kill. And Jean Gupton Morrison will be back to serve. Nice serve by Morrison. Boston English keeps it alive. And point Boston English. Just clears the line. That was close. But they give Boston English the point. Their ninth point of the set. And Vanessa Oscar tried to redirect it to Pamela Diaz. No luck. Just Mary Mercado back to serve. Warren tips it. Pamela Diaz keeps it alive. And Diaz can't save it. And Boston English not going away in this set. Mercado will serve again. Diaz tips it. Brinkler to Nuoco. And they're going to say she hit the net. <laughs> and Brinkler's bid out of bounds. It is now an eight point lead for Classical, so their lead is shrinking. Looked like they were going to run away with this set. And that won't clear the net. 22-13, Bosco on top. Christian Brazil will be serving for classical. Oscar tips it over. And point. Great placement by Avila. Boston English picks, picks up the point, 
and Amber Crane right there. And great play. Twenty-two fifteen classical on top. Here Edmonds serving. Kept alive by Boston English. They set up Nwoko. Edmonds, Diaz over. And both teams keep it alive for a while there. And point finally goes to classical. Both teams going back and forth nicely. Not sure what the officials are trying to figure out here, but <clears throat> quick delay of game. Costco needs just two points to end the set. Up 23-15. Here, Edmonds, when we come out of this delay of game, will be serving. A nice serve by Edmonds. <clears throat> and point goes to Classical. And they win the first set. 25-13. So they make quick work of Boston English. And we will take a quick break. And we'll see you as the teams switch sides. And we'll see you for set number two in just a moment. And we'll begin the second set. Classical took the first one, 25-13. And English will, Boston English will be serving. Nieli Acevedo will get the set started. Classical looked like they were going to make quick work of Boston English in the first set. However, Boston English made a little bit of a run but Oscar maybe it'll pull through and hoping to make quick work of Boston English tonight. And Amber Creighton sends it over. Charlene Alfonso can't save it. Point classical, Pamela Diaz back to serve. Great placement by Diaz. Nearly the same result. Alfonsi off her fingertips out of bounce. 2 nothing classical advantage. Diaz again. And nearly an identical play. <laughs> the result, another point. And classical on top, 3 nothing. Diaz set to serve. And four straight points for the Rams. Diaz sends it over to Creighton. Creighton gets up. 
for the kill. 5 nothing. Classical in the second set. And another nice serve by Diaz. Having another solid game. She's had a solid season. And some communication issues in the back row there for Boston English. Classical coming out firing on all cylinders in this set. Make it eight, nothing. The ace for Pamela Diaz. And we're gonna get a timeout on the Boston English side as Classical has started this set on an eight, nothing run. And the story of the set, Pamela Diaz and Amber Creighton accounting for all eight points for Lynn Classical. So the winner of this game will take on Melrose Tuesday. If Classical wins, they will play right here in the Lynn Classical Gym as Melrose is the number five seed. If Boston English were to come back in this game, Melrose would be hosting Boston English, but it's all Classical early on. And as always, thanks for joining us. Lynn Educational Television, Channel 15, Comcast, Channel 36, Verizon. And be sure to visit our YouTube channel, Lynn Educational Television. Give us a subscribe, a like. We're posting all games every day. Nine, nothing. Kept alive, Creighton sets up Gupton Morrison. And Gupton Morrison got up and sent a rifle over the net. Crane gonna set up Gupton Morrison again. Nearly the same result. And a little confusion back there for Boston English. Another point for Classical, 11 and nothing. And Classical making it look easy here. Creighton gonna set up Nwoko. And Gupton Morrison tips it over nicely. Gupton and Morrison. Sorry, Gupton Morrison and Creighton. The tag team up front for Lynn Classical, both basketball players. And you can see the chemistry translate here on the volleyball court. Great to see. And Creighton unsuccessful with the left hand. Boston English serving. And Gupton Morrison nearly with another point. And off the hands of Acevedo, 13th point for Classical, 13-1. Again, all Classical in this set. Amber Creighton back to serve. And too many touches. Give the point to Classical, 14 to one. And Gup, was it Gupton Moore? No, it was actually Nwoko, Cherish Nwoko. Creighton serving. And Alfonsi sends it over just a bit far. And it's now 16 to one classical. Hey, 
Give the ace to Amber Creighton. 17-1 classical. And that's going to head out of bounds. Hits the scores table. 18-1. And Classical really showing why they were 18 and 2 during the regular season. Point Boston English. Classical looking nearly unstoppable here in this second set. And Gupton Morrison. And Chloe Clement watched that. So Boston English point. Fonze serving. Diaz, Gupton Morrison, Clement, and point classical. Great placement by Clement. And Brooke Warren will check in, and she'll be serving for Lynn Classical. She had a great first set. And just out of bounds. 19-4. Cherish Nwoko will check back in. And Edmonds tries to keep it alive. She can't. Nice serve on the Boston English side. Shakira Mitchell. Classical still with a comfortable lead here, 19-5. Diaz calls it, tips it. Kira Edmonds lays it in up over the net and it's 25. Classical advantage, Diaz out. Vanessa Oscar replaces her and we're also going to see Josiris Rios for the first time tonight. Jean Gupton Morrison back to serve. We're looking to put the set away for classical. And off the fingertips of Mitchell, 21 5, classical lead. Gupton Morrison. Crane tips it. Oscar. And good movement temporarily for Boston English. Ends up into the net. And it's going to be 22 5. Classical lead. Gupton Morrison back to serve. And off the fingertips of Avila, 23-5, classical on top. And Morrison, her serve ends up right into the net. 23-6, 17 point advantage for the Rams. Serve heads out of bounds. And classical. Match point here needs one point. Christian Brazil will be back looking to seal it for classical. And point, classical. It looked like Brinkler was going to set up El Sindor, but it went over anyway. So 25-6, classical has taken the first set, first two sets in dominating fashion. And we'll see you in a moment for what could be the final set. And we head into the third set. Classical has taken the first two sets in dominating fashion. And they ran away with that first set and that second set early on. 
and it's really been no contest. So Classical look to close out this game here and advance to the semifinals, which would be played on Tuesday night against Melrose. Again, Classical looking to draw another home game, and they would be able to, as Melrose is the number five seed. Classical coming in the number four seed. Diaz. And then Gupton Morrison. Oh, nice save for Boston English. Cherish Nwoko gets up. And point for Nwoko. Nice kill. And she can get up. one nothing Classical. Pamela Diaz set to serve. Diaz with the dig. And that's going to float underneath the net. 2 nothing, Classical. Pamela Diaz will serve again. Nice call by Acevedo. Diaz. Creighton sets up Gupton Morrison. And watch out. Seeing a little bit of that basketball chemistry going on here. Creighton with the assist to Gupton Morrison. And nice attempt by Alfonsi. She can't save it. Classical, four unanswered points here to begin the set. Diaz. Nowoko. And nobody's coming down with that. Watch out. Diaz. And off the hands of Alfonsi, who's wearing the number 13 on her jersey for Boston English. 6 nothing. Classical on top. Again, another nice effort on the Boston English side. 7 nothing. Pamela Diaz serving. And hits the scorekeeper. So this set going a lot like the first two sets. As Classical holding Boston and English score scoreless here early on. Pamela Diaz serving. And that will hit the net. And that breaks up a string of eight straight points for Classical. So eight to one here. This is the third set. Classical looking to take this game in straight sets. They took the first two sets. Diaz, Gupton Morrison, and that's going to be right in front of the line. Point classical. Gupton Morrison. Amber Creighton back to serve for the Rams. Another nice serve for Creighton. Ten one advantage. and doesn't quite clear the net. If that cleared the net, that would have been in, in no man's land. Classical still with a comfortable lead here at 8-10-2. And that's gonna be, oh, almost hits Coach Frank DeLuca, who I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, picked up his 100th career win this season And he's been the only coach since volleyball became a sport here at Lynn Classical. Brooke Warren back in and that leads to a quick point. She's having a great night. Warren serves. And too many touches. 13 2.
Warren serves. And out of bounce. Good bid by Warren. Nearly perfect placement. 13-3. Classical on top. Avila serving. Nwoko. Clement. Gupton Morrison. She's been there all night. She's a fun basketball player to watch, and same with volleyball. She's been exciting to watch up front tonight for classical. That's way out of bounds. Isabella Fossler will watch that go, and she'll be serving. Nice serve. Nice serve and better save for Boston English. But it will result in one more classical point. Woko calls it. And nice tip. Soft hands for Chloe Clement. And Clement. Right there, 18-3. Macevedo tries to go reverse there. She can't, and 19-3. Boston English on the verge of getting swept in straight sets. But before they do, Coach Capernigo will call a quick timeout and look to rally his troops to mount a comeback here and force a fourth set. So it's been all classical tonight. Who now lead it 19 to three. And a very balanced scoring attack for the Rams. And at the top of the scoring, Amber Creighton, Jean Gupton Morrison, Cherish Nwoko, Pamela Diaz, and Brooke Warren all having strong games right now for the Rams. And this Rams team showing why they won 18 regular season games. And they're hoping to make a strong run here in the tournament. Fessler's serve gets tipped off the hands of Avila. Classical within five points of ending this, 23. And gonna be short, 21-3. Fessler serving again. Good bid by Acevedo. Hits the net. 22-3, classical advantage. Acevedo, giving up the body and laying out. Despite the score, her effort has been tremendous tonight on the Boston English side. Great play at the net by El Sindor. Creighton right back, and Mercado and Felix 
Delaney Felix can't save that for Boston English. So 24 class, 24 to three classical. And classical is going to advance to the next round of the Division II state tournament. They make quick work of Boston English. They're gonna take it in straight sets. We'll be back for the wrap up in just a moment. So Classical takes this one in straight sets by a score of 25-13, 25-6 in the second set, and then it was all English, sorry, all Classical over Boston English in this third set, 25-3. So a balanced scoring attack for the Rams. And we'll go right down the roster and give you a wrap up here. So Pamela Diaz had one kill and two attack attempts. Here Edmonds had two kills. Gene Gupton Morrison, a big game, 10 kills. Reese Brinkler added a kill. Cherish Nwoko, big game up front for the Rams, five kills. Chloe Clement, three kills and four kills for Amber Creighton. Amber Creighton and Jean Gupton Morrison, huge up front along with Cherish Nwoko for Lynn Classical. So Classical takes it in straight sets. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Afton Dean from all of us here at Lynn Educational Television. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.